Helena Mills, the CEO of BMAT. Um, how did it be, Mark Hall Academy joining BMAT, how did this come about? Um, so you're probably aware that, and the community is probably aware, that Mark Hall has been in the Academy for several years and was with another sponsor, ATT, and a decision was made by the Department for Education that perhaps a local sponsor should now begin to work with Mark Hall in the next stage of its academy. So we were approached by the Department for Education um, and the Head Teacher Board made a decision that BMAP would be the chosen sponsor um, and my trust board, BMAP's trust board, decided that it made, it made a lot of sense to actually invite Mark Hall to join our family of schools here in Harlow. Why did it make a lot of sense? Um, because we're, we're neighbours, uh, we serve the same community. Uh, several of the Mark Hall children attend some of our primary schools here in Harlow. Um, we know we've got capacity because as an organisation we've deliberately not grown in the last two years and so it seems right that we share that capacity um, with our neighbouring school. You probably cut my last question off at the past there. You're an organisation of 11 schools, aren't you? But yeah. Is that is it, so you're, you're not doing any more? You feel that's enough? So um, since 2018, the Trust Board and myself made a conscious decision that we didn't want to expand our organisation because at that point we just sponsored schools in Epping, um, in Harlow and in East London and we thought it was time to sort of embed practice and procedures and make sure that all our schools were improving rather than growing too quickly. Um, however, now that this opportunity has arisen and it is so close to our central head office, it makes sense for us to, to join with Mark Hall. And whenever a school joins our organisation, whether it's a school that requires improvement or whether it's a school that's got um, an Ofsted grading of inadequate, there's always expertise in that school and they always bring something to the whole organisation. When a school is graded as inadequate, or um, is, it, is it an impossible task or is there a way of you saying there's certain, you can get out quite, not easily, but there is a way of getting out of this and, I, and almost like you're saying, and I know the route out. So. The success of BMAT, I think we are a sort of turnaround organisation um, for anybody who knows BMAT STEM Academy, which was the last secondary academy to join the Trust, which was also um, graded as inadequate by um, Ofsted. You know, in two and a half years, that school has become a flagship for us. Um, it gets outstanding outcomes for its young people. It's a, it's a place where people want to go. Um, so we do have a history of turning around schools. Um, so again, it makes sense because we've got the capacity, because we've grown, um, grown that capacity over the last two years, that we, we use those resources for Mark Hall. Um, and I think it's quite easy to, to turn around an inadequate school. And I think this is going to be really easy because this is my first visit. Um, and you read an Ofsted report, like the one Mark Hall received in March, and you read it and think, oh my goodness, that's going to be awful, that school. Um, and I've walked around and I've just said to Manjit, well done, it's a calm learning environment, um, behavior. I haven't seen a single incident of poor behavior and I've been here for a couple of hours. Um, and I think now what we need to work on, as Manjit says, is ensuring that all the teachers in front of these children have the highest expectations of them and they drive that aspiration to be successful. And but finally, the head, the principal has a, her own autonomy, you know, she's free to run the school as, as she deems fit and capable and able. Yeah, so um, we're there to provide support, especially around the operations, but um, Manjit is a very, very capable leader. Um, if we wanted to, BMAT could have changed the leadership, but we think Manjit has already started the journey of transformation here. Um, and so I am completely confident, and the Trust Board is completely confident, that she's going to get this school to be really good very quickly and outstanding with a little bit more time.